guys. I have been using this Q10 serum from Timeless now for how many months? When did I review this? I can't remember. It's been a while. It also has hyaluronic acid and it has Trixol 3000, which are those two peptides that may or may not change your life. I've been using it daily, uh, with the exception of when I travel, because I haven't taken it with me traveling. When it comes to UV Quinone Q10, you're sort of going on faith that it's working, it's helping. As far as the Matrixol though, I do feel like maybe my skin's a little bit firmer because of using this product, but it's also got hyaluronic acid and glycerin, which are two hydrating ingredients. I've been happy with it. I think I'm gonna repurchase it. I don't think I have too much because I can see down in there. I tend to use the B5 hydration, which also has Matrixol. I tend to use that in the evening time. But now that I've been using the May, May Love Fade Away Brightening Serum, I'm not really using the Timeless Serums as much at night. This, I really loved it. I'm almost finished. This is my second bottle. That's my one gripe with it. I go through it really quickly and it sells out. All right, so that's on. Now I'm gonna come in with sunscreen. Today I'm gonna do this uh, Color Science Facial Flex. I was chatting with you guys about this last weekend on, I think, Sunday. This sunscreen is water resistant. This is a medium shade. They're, they have a fair, a, a, like a light shade that is a little too light for me. Uh, but what I like about these, they have four shades. Sorry, I'm jumping ahead of myself. What I like about these, they come out white, but then the pigment, becomes noticeable as you blend it in. But this particular product, a word of warning, it is <clears throat> high, like more, it's, it's closer to what you might expect with almost, almost a foundation. It's not quite that level of coverage as far as camouflaging stuff. It's a lot more coverage than Dermatology um, Universal Tint as far as camouflaging stuff. It takes a bit more effort and time to spread onto the skin. This doesn't settle in creases for me either. It doesn't peel their Total Eye 3-in-1, which is a tinted sunscreen concealer for under the eyes. This really has a nice under eye brightening effect, I have found. On coffee, hold temp. All right, I'm gonna let you guys in on a little, <laughs> oops, sorry for stepping around. A little behind the scenes, YouTube editing, cause I'm, you know, so high tech, editing magic here. I get comments from you guys whenever I like use my coffee bean grinder or my blender. Oh my gosh, that is, oops, because I throw the beans around. That is the, <laughs> uh, that is the quietest coffee bean grinder I have ever heard. It is not. What? I am deceiving you, yes. Um, basically what I do is this little clip, I just lower the volume up. A lot of people listen to my videos wearing headphones and I don't want to blast out your eardrum. Comment below, are you are you team French press? I need to know like how you guys prepare your coffee. It has been a long time, like we're talking over a decade since I've done the old school Mr. Coffee Pot with the filter. I, it's been a long time. I used to do that back in the day. For a while, I discovered a um, percolator and that I, I rather enjoyed coffee percolator. I used to use one of those a long time ago. And I also really love the little mocha pot. Well, hey guys, get excited. Guess what time it is? Car wash. It has been a hot minute since you guys got to go through the car wash. And I know, I know you've been waiting for it and that's what we're doing. Yippee. While I have no issue with the time change and I, I actually don't mind that it gets dark earlier, one thing I don't enjoy is driving when it's dark out. I feel like it's it's hard enough driving here. If you know, you know. It's hard enough driving here, but throw no sunlight into the, the game, no illumination, and it's just, yeah, I mean, obviously I have headlights, but it's just not the same. It's just not the same. I, it's, it's even, it feels even riskier. Plus, when it's dark out, I feel like people get even more chaotic with their driving, if you know what I'm talking about. And then you can't see the potholes. Speaking of which, I hit one last night when I was driving home. They come out of nowhere. Oh. <laughs> McDonald's now has a cheese Danish. I will do the number two. 
getting the undercarriage done. This is where I always struggle. It's getting myself, cause see, they have this kind of weird turn here with these giant blue balls. <laughs> All right, kids, here we go. Oh, I said relax and enjoy the ride. I don't remember that from the last time. Maybe that's a new feature. these savvy naturals these are new body creams tahitian vanilla 20 bucks this says shea butter in it yep argan oil as well bulgarian rose sweet orange lavender chamomile desert essence also has oh look they've got a fragrance free hand and body lotion shea green tea leaf extract Oh, these products are really good. Ceramedics, the um, body lotion and the ultra moisturizing cream. You can use them on the face or body. Earth Science, fragrance free. They have sea lettuce extract, which is a humectant and they're on sale. What's this Avalon Organics Therapy Colloidal Oatmeal Eczema Relief Body Cream? Shea, hmm, this looks promising. They also have, ugh, Sorry, I'm squatting down here. They had the body cream, and then what is this? This is the same eczema relief intensive cream. Shea, mineral salt deodorant powder. Be good for in your shoes. Just says mineral salts and cornstarch. Absorb sweat. Borage therapy has a fragrance-free foot cream. What's in this? Shea butter, jojoba seed oil. I'm not seeing anything like urea or alpha hydroxy acid that would help with callus, but the lubrication is always, always good. I came over here to Joann's and it's like holiday palooza. But they have this nice wreath holder. It looks like a bow. I really like this wrapping paper. It's like little mer mermaids for the holidays. Look, they're cute. It's different. If you wouldn't think of mermaids for the holidays, but they're cute. They have some really pretty mugs that are on sale for $4.99. Of course, they are too small for me, but isn't that one pretty with the gold handle? I love this one too, just the blue and white. It's got a little penguin family on it. Then they have these light up candy canes, kind of go with my the theme of my tree. Cool outside. They're not too expensive, $9.99. You could stick them outside. Oh, look at that reindeer. I like him, he's vintage. Check these out. I guess they're for your lawn. They're really pretty though. I just want them. Like that red one too. That's pretty. I like this one, it kind of gives a woodland Christmas vibe. Tons of garland. It smells good in here. Like scents. I actually need more of these. They're kind of sinister though, they always end up like sticking on something. Window clings. Oh, speaking of my candy cane theme, check these out. They're little candy cane lights. It does have little snowmen. And then little bell string lights. These are cute. Trees. Snowflakes. Oh, little tiny snowmen. Joann's has a very extensive ornament selection. I really like these gla blown glass ornaments. I just think they look so nice on a tree. I have quite a few. Isn't that a pint of blueberries? 
I have mostly vegetables. I don't think I have many fruits. I have like a citrus slice. Here's a to-go coffee. And these acrylic stickers. I guess I could go like on a water bottle. A little donut. Strawberries. There's mermaids again. I'm here in Dick's Sporting Goods. They have some cute outfits. This Calia brand. I have a headband from this company. That black headband I often wear when I do my skincare. And it's held up for a long time. I'm eyeing this vest because it's cute. It's got the cool thing on the top. And then the zip pocket. It's like a nice quality zipper too. And then the hand covers. Oh, this is a shirt they have underneath that. Never mind. Yeah, this shirt is really nice for running because it has the hand covers and it's got a hood. I love basketball shorts. They're so comfortable. I haven't worn them in years. This is a nice one from Carhartt. Pretty sky. You can see the palm trees lit up. I ordered some things on iHerb I thought I would share with you guys. I got another bag of the Three Peckered Billy Goat. I am loving this. Raven's Brew coffee, I've been getting the whole bean. They also sell ground, the same coffees, just as uh, ground versions. Uh, Sun Warrior is one of my favorite uh, vegan protein brands, and I saw they came out with a peanut butter powder, like PB2. So I went ahead and got that because this is a pretty large container and I go through it pretty quickly. It's just peanut flour. I also got some more Dulce, this stuff is so good. If you have ever had nori before, this does not taste at all like nori. It's, first of all, it's red and it's soft and chewy and it almost has a sweet and salty taste. It's not for everyone, but I am hooked. I love it so much. That's something I frequently order on iHerb and I got two bags of it. I got some of this Natural Heaven Hearts of Palm spaghetti. I eat pumpkin seeds all the time. They're one of my favorite seeds. <laughs> And this Bergen Fruit and Nut Company is really good. I just get them. Uh, my one gripe is this packaging. It kind of, the, the plastic is sort of fra fragile. So I end up putting this in like a jar. Um, speaking of protein powder, this pumpkin seed protein from Sprout Living is really good. It's kind of the same principle as the peanut butter powder, like just made from peanuts, but instead it's the pumpkin seed version. It's just, pumpkin seed powder, uh, but it's really high in protein for a serving is 20 grams. So I love throwing that in smoothies. It's really good. I also got, this is a popcorn that I get, the Eden popcorn. It's really good. And I use this in my silicone popcorn popper. It's floating around here somewhere. This is a spirulina I get. I love spirulina. It's a, definitely an acquired taste. Most people don't like it. It does kind of have a fishy taste, but this spirulina mana brand is quite good. I like to throw this into smoothies. I saw I got Old Bay seasoning, which I love. I think I mostly just love celery salt uh, and paprika. This I thought would be really good on popcorn. So I got some of that. And I love Lakanto, and they came out with a vanilla flavored almond butter. Let me know in the comments, do you prefer almond butter or peanut butter? I like them both. I like them both equally. Cashew butter, I don't think I really had much of. Lakanto makes a vegan version of Nutella. I got it once, I do not recommend. It was horrible. But yeah, this is what I got from Meyer. Highly recommend shopping on there. It's a great place to get pantry essentials. Well, hey guys, I just hopped out of the shower. I'm almost finished with my second bottle of this Maylove Fade Away Brightening Serum. This stuff, I I am using, FYI, if you missed the review of this, I do use a full dropper's worth. That's what the instructions say. And it really goes on over the face and neck quite easily. It's very hydrating. It has hyaluronic acid, licorice root, kojic acid. Um, and it also has arbutin in it as well, which is a precursor to hydroquinone. Unlike hydroquinone, it's safe to use long-term and is a lot gentler, but these ingredients, the combination of them, they can help uh, cut down on that hyperactive production of pigment from those melanocytes. Uh, that would be in areas where you have like a sunspot, an age spot. Sunspot, I'd say sunspot, age spot interchangeably. I'm referring to what's called a solar lentigo appears on sun exposed areas of the body, like in your, starting in your 40s and 50s, you may notice a lot more of them, like on the chest, 
the face, the hands, the, the forearms. And truthfully, you know, these facial care products, they can be used to those areas too. Like if you have a lot of sunspots on your chest, for example, you might consider using like a skin brightening product on your chest, like provided you tolerate it. Now, the chest, it can be a little bit more vulnerable to irritation. And speaking of fading sunspots, uh, one ingredient that actually has been shown to help lighten them is adapalene, uh, Differin. And that you don't have to just restrict use to the face. You could use it on the backs of your hands, the chest, the forearms to help lighten up some of that discoloration model hyperpigmentation. Provided you tolerate it and you're using it in conjunction with sun protection, definitely can help. Uh, yeah, I've been really impressed with this, although truthfully, I think what I like most about it personally and my experience using it as a consumer is that it's just super hydrating. And the act of moisturizing and hydrating the skin, improving the water retention, it really can just kind of make the skin appear a little bit more even, clear, bright, radiant, just by light scattering. And I've been super happy with it in that regard. I'm going to call it a night. I had a great day with you guys. I hope you're having a great weekend. And if you're here in the US, I hope you're, you know, getting excited for Thanksgiving. Don't stress out too much about it. Make sure you come back for tomorrow's vlog and, you know, check in, hang out like we do here on the vlogs, which go live on the weekends. Many of you exclusively watch the vlogs and you came here initially for skincare and you found what you needed and then you've since stay tuned for the vlogs and i greatly appreciate all of you and for those who made it this far on the video thank you so much i hope you enjoyed it if so give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and as always don't forget sunscreen and subscribe i'll talk to you guys tomorrow bye